it going guys and welcome back to week 8 of in k-pop news so let's go straight into what happened in k-pop this past week in successful news the kid leader of the ever so popular girls generation is actually garnering a lot of success in her solo activities specifically her most recent album why this is only Taeyeon's second album produced and is actually the fastest selling only in pre-orders, it sold 100,000 copies. And now that it was released, it shot straight up in the world album charts, topping out at number 6 on the iTunes charts. That is very impressive for any K-pop album to do. So, how successful is Taeyeon actually? Well, in TVN's Lifestyler, they reported that she raised 900 million won, close to $770,000 from her promotions. And what does she do with all this cash money? Buy some Gucci, a new luxurious car, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't, I don't know what that is. Nope, none of the above. In fact, this angel of a K-pop idol bought her parents a high-end apartment, apparently costing 800 to 900 thousand dollars. And she didn't stop there. Apparently, she opened a new credit card for her parents to use. Man, Taeyeon has not only a big voice but a big heart for such a small, cute, amazing, beautiful person. How do people like this even exist, man? You're making us look bad. I wish I could do that for my parents, but the most I could get them is like a... some Taco Bell. Wait, actually, that's not bad. I would be really happy with my kids if they bought me Taco Bell. In I Had Enough News, there is a video roaming around the interwebs of Luhan allegedly yelling at a taxi driver. But it's not what you think. He had a good reason to. The taxi driver was actually carrying Sasang fans. And if you don't know what a Sasang fan is, it's a fan of a certain K-pop idol that is very into that idol and will follow them around and get as close to them as possible. So these Sasang fans actually paid the taxi driver to get as close to Luhan as possible so they can get some pictures and video. And this actually put not only the people in the taxi but others around in danger as well because the taxi driver was driving recklessly to get as close to Luhan as possible. So Luhan himself actually got really upset and went up to the taxi driver in person and started yelling at him. And from this instance, Luhan's actions was either met with positive remarks or negative remarks. But if people are being put at risk by this reckless driving that this taxi driver was doing, then Luhan's in the right, definitely. And I actually praise Luhan for his actions because I'm sure he knew that people would be filming or taking photos of him doing this and would, you know, twist it to make it seem like he's doing something wrong. But I praise him for actually taking a stand physically himself and going up to this taxi driver to tell him that he's doing something wrong. But I would like to know your opinion, so let me know down in the comments. In All You Can Eat Buffet News, JTBC recently created a new show called Girls Who Can Eat. It is a show where female celebrities are invited to partake in a mukbang competition show. And the first episode was actually a star-studded cast featuring A Pink's Namjoon, Nine Muse's Kyung Lee, Secret's Hyun Song, Red Velvet's Sulgi, Oh My Girl's Jiho, Google Dan's Kang Mina, and Twice's Chewy and Dayo. And you would think a brand new show featuring this cast would do well, right? Well, not quite. Because some of the viewers found the show to be outdated, because apparently mukbang isn't as popular as it was before. And alongside that reason, they also added that watching girls overeat is a cruel concept. I personally haven't seen the episode yet, but I'm sure any guests have an idea of what they're gonna do on a show, so they're preparing to eat. But what do you guys think? Have some of you actually seen the show? Let me know down in the comments. In making moves news, remember in my last episode of NK Pop News where I talked about an FNC entertainment stockholder investigated for insider trading? Well, turns out it was an idol that was investigated. It was CN Blue's Young Hua. Like I said before, apparently Young Hua bought stock in FNC Entertainment right before UJ Sok's arrival to the company, or so they thought. After a thorough investigation, it was found that Young Hua was actually innocent, but it was soon found out that another member of CN Blue was actually the guilty party. Jung Hyung admitted to buying stock before UJ Sok's arrival. 
Despite that, Jung Hyung will only be facing a fine because he did not resell the stock afterwards because he found out that his actions were illegal. Whether or not he actually knew what he was doing was wrong, insider trading is a quick but illegal way to make a lot of money fast. Now, I'm not saying he knew what he was doing, but luckily they found out before he sold the stock and then we would have a whole different kind of story on our hands. In Too Soon News, everyone knew that this was going to happen eventually, but not this soon. Apparently, Hyuna is ready to make a comeback this summer. She is currently preparing a solo album for this August, with her most recent comeback being, of course, A+, plus same time last year. We get to see how Hyuna's comeback is received by the public after, you know, of course, for a minute, being released by Cube Entertainment. And we get to see if Cube made the right choice or not. In debut news, have you heard about the new girl group, The Unnies? Well, let me inform your ass about them. The Unnies is a group created by a KBS reality show called Unnie Slam Dunk, which consists of Girls Generation's Tiffany, rapper Jesse, actress Mi Hyo Rin, actress Ra Mi Ran, comedian Kim Sok, and model turned comedian Hyung Ji Kyung. The show's premise is to help achieve each member's dream. And Mi Hyo Rin's dream was actually to appear in a girl group. And so, the cast practiced and made the dream happen. So the Unnies are created and they're gonna debut with Shut Up as their debut track. With an MV and debut stage on Music Bank, which already happened, how did it turn out? With JYP helping them produce the song, Shut Up when it was released, hit number one on eight real-time charts, and needless to say, the Unnies were successful with their debut. Congratulations, and I hope the Unnies can continue to make dreams come true. In comeback news, Wonder Girls are almost ready to come back with their Why So Lonely album. By releasing the teaser to their new MV showcasing their new title track, which definitely has a new sound different from past Wonder Girl promotions. As you can hear, Wonder Girls are going to be tackling reggae music. Yes, reggae music. But I believe that if any girl group can pull it off, it's Wonder Girls. Get ready for the MV July 5th. In more comeback news, another girl group is also coming back this summer, and it is G-Friend. G-Friend finished their schoolgirl era and is ready to embrace the summer vibes with their first exclusive album release, LOL. And as you can tell by the teaser image, G-Friend is going for a bubbly, fun, and colorful concept, which I really enjoyed. It's like there's a beauty in the simplicity of it. Get ready for the comeback on July 11th. In solo news, I reported on Miss A's Faye getting ready to have a solo debut this summer, but now Faye has an experienced hand helping her with her debut. JY Park, in fact, is going to spearhead her solo debut production. JY Park definitely knows his groups and in no doubt will help Faye produce an outstanding album and I just, I just really want to see what she can do. In subunit news, last in K-pop news, I reported on Icons Bobby and winners Song Min Ho are going to have solo promotions this summer, but YG has even more plans in the works. Reports claim that after each of their respective solo promotions that they are actually going to create a subunit. Reports continue to say that they actually already filmed their MV and no info is known except for that. Oh my god, could we have another GD and TOP on our hands? YG, you genius. In too many comebacks news, Beast already released their pre-release song, Butterfly, and now they are teasing for their full album release and their new music video, Ribbon. In the teaser, Beast looks so mature and sophisticated, and so is their music. We'll be able to see the whole thing when it's released July 4th. Be careful, playing with fireworks is dangerous, but mixing in some K-pop at the same time, don't even try that, okay? Who knows what'll happen? In debut news, can you recall the newest addition to SM Town NCT? Well, they are ready to debut a new unit. SM confirmed that a new NCT unit is gonna debut this July. They announced this alongside with a mysterious image on their website, showing the NCT logo with the number 127, which is the longitude coordinate for Seoul. Ah, pretty clever. I wouldn't have figured that out. Uh, 
As the previous units before, this unit will consist of Korean, Chinese, and Japanese members. Get ready to open your rice on July 7th. I actually don't want to open this because I got another bag in the pantry and I want to finish that before I open this because you know you don't you don't want your rice going bad, you know what I'm saying? Open your rice, eat it and open your rice. And that's a long ass rap. In oh lord news. I'm sure all you carrots out there already know, but I'm gonna talk about it anyways, all right? Seventeen are gonna be promoting a new song that comes along with their repackage of their Love and Letter album, and it's called Very Nice. And they already released a teaser for the MV, and it is what I believe every girl wants to see. They look more serious and flirty looking into the camera like you're a delicious piece of meat. Wait, I'm gonna stop right there. I don't want to give any of you guys any ideas, okay? Calm down. Get ready to bust your ovaries on July 4th. In. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! News? YG has officially finalized the members of the new girl group and the name. As it is now, the four member group is gonna be called Black Pink. Now I know the name Pink Punk was actually like a code name for the new YG girl group from a long time ago. And I think some of us, including me, actually grew fond of the name. At first it seemed a bit weird, but then it kind of grew on us. And now YG changed up the name and now I think everyone's gonna feel the same way about the new name again. Finding the name Black Pink to be... Blah. But of course there is actually a meaning behind Black Pink as stated by a YG representative. Open your eyes, each and open your eyes, each and open your eyes. The meaning of black pink aims to contradict the common perception of the color pink. Pink is commonly used to portray prettiness, but black pink actually means to say that pretty isn't everything. It also symbolizes that there are a team that encompasses not only beauty, but also great talent. And as predicted by everyone, it is another four member girl group produced by YG. And after this, rumors of YG producing a sister girl group to Blackpink with the remaining girl trainees at YG was spreading. Something like the relationship between Icon and Winner. But this rumor was soon squashed by YG, basically stating that they have no plans regarding a sister group. The YG rep then stated, Like most large companies, YG houses over 50 trainees currently working hard to debut. But nothing has been decided thus far on whether the trainees who were excluded from Blackpink will form a team by themselves or form a completely new team with other trainees. Back to Blackpink though. They plan to debut sometime in late July. So probably July 2020. But no, honestly, I can't wait because Teddy is the producer in charge of their debut album and they're planning to drop three MVs for their debut. K-pop Jesus have mercy on our souls. And that is it for this week in K-pop. And I hope you guys enjoyed the stories I talked about. And of course, if you have any opinions or comments about any of the stories, please comment down below, share your thoughts, and let's have a conversation. Also, if you enjoyed it, please give this video a like. Also, check out my latest in K-pop news episodes and get some of that K-pop knowledge. Knowledge here in my garage. Also, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. I make this NK Pop News series every single weekend. Also, share this video with others so they can get some of that K-pop knowledge as well. Now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Annyeong.